Alright, today I did a Halloween inspired body paint. One part is the classic Michael Myers mask. The other part is my own spin where I added um, a body paint of the Myers house, which is really integral to the storyline of Michael Myers since it's where he's made his first kill. So I start off using a nude eye pencil, really focusing on uh, the eye holes of the mask. Michael Myers' face is really wide and mine is not. So in order to help with the illusion and to make myself look a little bit more like Michael Myers, it was really important for me to sketch out the eye holes first. In previous times when I've tried to do this makeup, uh, after I've done like all the face paint, I found it difficult to go in and figure out where the eyes were. It also helps map out the face um, once you know where the eyes are, since a lot of the scars and the, um, uh, the aging on the mask is in relation to the eyes. I also filled them in with um, a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. Next, I'm covering my brows. The Michael Myers mask actually has eyebrows, but I prefer um, mine to be covered since it gives me the illusion of a larger forehead, which I do not have, so I prefer to cover them. And I'm brushing them down both ways to cover them with glue before I completely lay them flat. As you can see, I'm really vigorously working this mascara spoolie. And I do go in with several layers. I will say one thing though, it's not super important for this cover to be, this eyebrow cover to be completely flawless. The mask definitely is um, kind of messy and aged. So don't worry too much about getting this perfect. But to get a good eyebrow cover, I have to typically go in with many layers. And I'm also applying powder using a damp sponge to really pack it on. Now I'm going in with a uh, white foundation. I chose not to use a body paint just because it was a little bit faster and more opaque. One thing I will say though is if you're wearing this outside, you definitely want to set the foundation since it will transfer and I chose not to set it just because I was doing it for this video and I wasn't gonna wear it outside, but if I were, I would definitely set it with some white powder. This flat foundation brush makes it really great to go in around the lines really fast, um, as well as cover my eyebrows. One thing, one tip I will say is paint over your eyebrows in the direction that you brush them. Definitely don't paint over them the other way since you might unearth some of your brows that you work so hard to cover. Defining the eyes a little bit more with that NYX Jumbo Pencil. I fill them in with body paint later, but it just helps me to figure out what kind of shape I'm looking for. Next, I'm taking a taupey gray eyeshadow in order to make contours. Definitely don't uh, overdo the contouring for this since it kind of kills the illusion of the mask. I've definitely done this many times where I've over contoured and it just looked kind of messy and, you know, kind of dirty. So even though the mask itself, in at least in the 2018 version, is kind of aged and dirty, I still wanted to keep kind of an illusion that, uh, that a mask was over my skin, so I try not to make it too try not to go too ham on uh, all the eyeshadow and the contouring. Something I really focused on was the nose. So Michael Myers' nose is shorter and it's kind of flattened at the end with a very prominent triangle uh, nostrils. So I really used the eyeshadow and blended it out to help create that illusion. I'm also taking a brown liquid liner to make some of these cuts on the mask. It helps make them a little bit more sharp, but I do go in and blend them a little bit right here.
I also will use a flat foundation brush with no paint on it to help blend. And I'm using a brown eyeshadow to um, contour the edge of the mask as well as I added a few cuts. Next, I am taking a white NYX Jumbo pencil in milk and I am tracing out the outline of the house. So it's really helpful to make an outline first, again, since you know where you're going and you can avoid painting in spots where you don't want paint or you have to switch colors and it just makes everything easier if you know the layout of what you're going to paint beforehand. Since this house has a lot of small details, such as windows and doors, it was important to not overpaint um, so I wouldn't have to spend a lot of time cleaning up. Next, I'm taking a white body paint mixed with blue and some black for this kind of blue-gray house um, roof. And for the base of the house, I took a similar color just with more white. As you can see, I avoided all the windows that I had outlined. One thing I'll say is also don't get caught up in making every single line perfect. Since it is a body paint, it's supposed to be a little bit of an illusion, and I don't think straight lines are not super necessary, but if you really care about that, you can always use a ruler, or I use a palette a lot of the time to make my lines straight. But for this case, I just kind of eyeballed everything. To add details, I go in with um, a black eyeshadow, eyeshadow, and I use that for the ridges of the house, you'll see in a second. I also used a white body paint with an angled brush to create the windows and the sort of like columns. Next I'm taking a white eye eyeliner from NYX to create these little fences. And in just a sec, you'll see me mess up and create the fence right over the door before I quickly realize my mistake and I go in and fix that. For the doors and the windows, I used a dark brown eyeshadow to shade them in. I chose not to use a black body paint because I felt like this would give a more smoky look and it's also easier to control. For a lot of these details, um, I cleaned them up using eyeshadow just because I didn't want to go in with a wet paint and mess up all my hard work. For the final touch, I'm making the iconic little Halloween pumpkin using an orange liquid lipstick. I wasn't too concerned about making this guy perfect, I just wanted him to be there since one of the defining symbols of the Halloween franchise is the um, pumpkin. As a last step, I'm filling everything on my chest in with black body paint. It helps the mask stand out as well as the house. And yeah, that is the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.